All right, the last video was all about comparing and seeing what the differences were between an MRE, a meal ready to eat, military's rations, and the TOTM, or Tailored Operational Training Meal. Uh, these things, basically, they're, they're the same thing, except these come, obviously, in a, in a clear plastic bag instead of the brown. Um, yeah, they are both made for the U.S. government, even though this one does resemble the, uh, the commercial MREs that are available out there. Uh, the main difference is that these have, tend to have less, less materials in them. Uh, I guess being a training meal, they're meant for uh, reserves, National Guard, or um, anything else where, where you'd be in a, in a situation where you wouldn't need everything that's included in the MRE. You wouldn't need quite as much food. You don't need the matches, <clears throat> which I don't believe are, are in these. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to actually open one of these up and, and see what's inside of them. I actually have three of the uh, pork rib boneless imitation. And uh, they don't have the name on the, on the bag because you can, you can see through the bag, obviously. So uh, one, uh, one complaint I have about this would be if you're a person who actually enjoys MREs just for the sake of enjoying MREs, uh, one of the things that's nice about these brown bags is you can't see what's in it. And it's almost like opening a present when you uh, open it up and, and find out what's inside of it if you're not totally familiar with it. Of course, with these, you already have an idea of what's inside, especially um, sometimes they have these neat desserts in here. Like you can see this one has the peanut M&Ms. So that would have been a fun thing to discover. But anyway, so I have three of these. Two of them have a date code. Of 0144, meaning that they were packed on the 144th day of 2010. And this one right here is 0355. So it was packed almost at the end of 2010, late in December. So we'll check this one out. Let's see what's, uh, what's inside of here. Yeah, the peelable seal didn't peel very good. I love it when that happens. Put everything out. And like I said, it's definitely less less than what you'd find in a regular MRE. But we have the pork rib, boneless imitation, beverage base powder, lemon lime, lemon lime flavored, no fruit juice. That's one of the differences here. You get, uh, oh, this is a different spoon than I saw last time. You get a white plastic spoon instead of the brown one. Moist wipe. With some coffee in there, some instant coffee. A napkin instead of the toilet paper. And non-dairy creamer. I'm assuming there's pepper. Salt. Oh, there's a sugar. Sugar's hiding. For the coffee. So you get some of the stuff. You don't get the matches, you don't get the gum. Don't get the toilet paper. Get some barbecue sauce for the uh, pork rib. Ground red pepper. FRH. Flameless ration heater. Wheat snack bread. And another wheat snack bread. They do this with the uh, pork ribs and the beef patties. So you can make a sandwich out of them. And I forgot the Skittles. Can't forget the Skittles. So that's what we got in here. Alright, let's heat this thing up. Some water. <clears throat> you don't really have to have much. The do not ever fill thing is pretty, pretty low down there. I 
Yeah, might be overfilled just a tad. You can kind of hear it already. Yeah, that's, that's definitely heating up. The steam coming out already, and it's already too hot to handle. So close this up. Stuff that in here. And I'm going to use another TOTM as a rock or something. So while that's heating up, I did notice that this meal didn't come with a hot beverage bag, so luckily I have an extra one handy. But this takes 12 ounces of water. There it is. All right, we'll let that uh, meal heat up for a few minutes, and we'll get right back to it. All right, that thing's been cooking for a while. We'll go ahead and go ahead and try this out. This is. So I'm just going to use one of the wheat snack breads. Maybe it's a little oxygen pack there. There's your pork rib. Some of the juices too. A little of the barbecue sauce on here. And I suppose since it's here, I should try the ground red pepper too. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's see how it tastes by itself first. Mmm. Well, that's not bad at all. I feel like, uh, McDonald's McRibs, and you'll probably like this. If you think they're disgusting, you might not like this. Try it with some of the barbecue sauce and the pepper.
Yeah, it's good. It's not bad at all. Yeah, here's a closer look at the pork rib. Boneless imitation. That's what it looks like. And I uh, have to get one to see what it tastes like. It's really not too bad. Thanks for watching.